All right, Battletech enthusiasts, Fritz here, sharing with you my mech experiences. Admittedly, making my way through some of my favorite mechs, sharing my thoughts, sharing the play style that I've kind of unlocked on the table, exploring mechs that ideally I should be better with, I, sh I should know better. This is where we have a, a mech with a certain type of build, but our play style and how we currently play might not fit with it too well. And then exploring mechs that are just the wonderful world of Battletech, kind of really out there and strange, and we got to figure out how to unlock these mechs to play them on the table. So we're looking at the Javelin, and this falls in the first category, one of my favorite mechs. Now, admittedly, I tend to favor heavy mechs, assault mechs, big guns, autocannon 20s, LRM 20 spam. You can't argue with big guns. You can have your fancy tactics. You can have your outflank and your weird deployment and your phase movement or whatever you're going to call it. Uh, most of that folds under big guns if applied correctly. So my experience with light mechs tends to be either focusly obsessed with like a locust or some of the mechs that can support PPCs or other large weapons where it's almost like I'm playing a low battle value game and I can't buy into heavy and assault mechs. So I'll kind of mimic that on the high end of light mechs with big guns. But then the Javelin comes along and with its play style, I find it complementing as almost an assassin-like mech, not the assassin mech, massive confusion there when you say like an assassin mech and people think you're literally talking about an assassin mech. And for some reason, I always think of the thug, the, the appearance of the thug mech as the assassin, maybe because an assassin is related to a thug, all sorts of battle tech stuff going on in there. But I found the javelin complements heavy and assault mechs that are going to close on a position and brawl. So here we have a mech for about, what, 600 battle value? Was like 584? Let, let's just round it up 600. So right away, your first choice is I have to look at, for 600 battle value, I have to look at the guns, I have to look at the armor and see can I potentially do better, can I potentially do better with a tank? I can get more, but now there's this trade-off of even with a vehicle, if I get better guns for battle value and better armor, there's line of sight issues if we're playing on a true wargaming table, which might work against me or for me. But plus, motive hits, getting immobilized. With the maneuverability of mechs, it's easy to get side shots on tanks. And even if you don't get outright lucky and immobilize them, you start chewing through the treads, you start chewing through the hover and the motives, and, and it slows down to the point where... It's like one hex a turn, and that's going as fast as you can on there. So with a mech, not that anything's guaranteed in Battletech, the movement, you are guaranteed as much as you can get a guarantee in this game. So for 600 battle value, I can get some vehicles that are slightly better armed, but the two short-range missile packs in the center torso, excuse me, the left torso and the right torso, that's key. That location, the left torso and the right torso, SRM packs changes the dynamics of this mech and makes it a beast. And here's why I say this mech for 600 battle value is a light mech versus taking a tank. I'm going to be able to move pretty fast for a light mech. I'm not going to want to get hit with anything. If this mech is, here's how I use it. If this mech is going in with my assault lance, it's hanging far enough back that, well, one, you got to deal with the assault mechs coming in. And two, if you do want to go against the light mech, which sometimes you do, you want to pick that out just to get a mech off the table and start messing with your opponent's initiative phase with what they can move or not move, you go for the easiest kill. This is why many players, myself included, you might use infantry as an initiative sink. But with the light mech, the javelin hanging back enough and moving, well, now is it really worth your shots. Is it really worth hitting on 10s, 11s, and 12s? Because I'm going to be at long range, so you're getting the plus four to hit there. I'm going to be stacking running um, multiple hexes, so you're going to have that stacked against you there. You might have to move. You might have to at least walk to get a good avenue of fire or maybe position yourself better against my assault mechs going in. So I'm trying to stack as much as I can. Once we close, once my assault elements 
close with your assault or your heavy mech elements and we're just brawling and stuff, that's when the javelin uh, literally strikes. I'm thinking like 300 here, throwing that javelin at Xerxes. That, that's kind of the analogy here. So you run up with the javelin. You run behind one of those mechs or even side. I'll take side. You start punching. Light mech punching. What? Well, yeah, one in six chance to hit a head. And while I'm not going to take a head clean off, I might if it's pre-damaged, I'm going to force a consciousness check. If it's the first one, yeah, you're going to fail it. But look, I can name at least two or three Battletech games where I took a headshot and I failed my first pilot consciousness roll. One of them in a recent game, it was a cash and grab objective game. I had to run in, get an objective, get some tech, get out. There was an Atlas guarding it. There's infantry guarding it. There's vehicles guarding it. Um, I run in with one of my Ostmechs, take a lot of firepower, a lot of damage. I've got infantry literally uh, crawling on me, making you know uh, attacks in the same hex. I've got an Atlas bearing down on me. I'm out of there. I'm moving pretty fast. I'm, I might actually pull this off. Boom, headshot. Whatever, like an infantry cluster, you know, two points of damage. Okay, good. Consciousness check, fail. And then I'm just like totally swarmed. So in the mix of my assault mechs hitting your assault mechs, you don't want to be taking any more checks than you have to. You, you don't want to be dealing with that potentiality in there. If I can get rear, even better. Because now it's rear armor against punching and the head. Plus, it frees up my hands to punch. So you're utilizing the short-range missile packs, which that is the ultimate combination. Left torso, right torso, right punch, left punch, potentially a kick on there. That's some nice brawling damage for 600 points. And if it goes with the assault elements in there, you're going to work that around. It's kind of an assassination type mech. The thing I do find that I have to really watch out for, and, and certain things in Battletech, of course, you can take a risk. This is no risk if you're using it in this manner, meaning I can't afford to do this. I need to be mindful of the hex placement of the mech I'm trying to punch. I don't want to be straight on. I have to make sure that they can't turn in their activation phase. So usually my javelin's going last for initiative. I'm trying to save it. They'll kick. You know, when you have a 100-ton mech, kicking a light mech if that connects it's just going to rip your leg off and and you're done might rip your leg off and transfer and just literally split you in half on there so looking at it from that perspective the placement back is really really key and and punching also but staying out of that hex working to the sides and the back so you can't be back fisted or you can't be kicked try it out I'm really, this is the Javelin I feel like is a really amazing sleeper mech with what it can do and what it can bring to the table in that capacity. It it melds so well, complements so well to an assault-based lance.